You hungry? Every day. Well, how about some Iraqi food? I've never had that. First time for everything. Welcome back to a brand new episode of My Fortunate Life Choices. Starring yours truly, Brendan Taylor. This is Jake. And together we are the, the Taylor, Taylor Bros. And I'm the Taylor Mom. Uh, all righty, I guess that's how we're starting this. Let's jump on into these reviews and let's see why this Iraqi restaurant has five stars. Outrageous beef shawarma pita wrap. The beef seasoning was spot on and combined with the tahani and veggies, the wrap was explosively delicious. The lady behind the counter could not be more friendly. I will be sure to return for their plates and other proteins which looked amazing on the menu. I mean, that, that is some vocabulary yeah. to get me wanting this food. Definitely. Ooh, she said explosive. This is a great adjective. Great adjective. Let's jump into that picture and see what this is. It kind of looks like a cheesy casserito. <laughs> it doesn't look too it, it looks, I mean, look, it, as, if it tastes great, you can't judge a book by its cover. Yeah, some of the messiest, ugliest looking thing are the, the best the things best. I've ever eaten. I'm talking about women, too. Uh, no. <laughs> cut it out. The food here is amazing, flavorful and well-priced. It's also very authentic. Their customer service is great as well. Their lule kebab was a little too fatty, but still delicious. Hummus, tabule, and baba ganoush, very delicious. Cheesy borak was amazing too. Kuba musol, very good and made at the restaurant. One of my favorite Middle Eastern places. I want that. I don't even know what half of that I'm was. I'm impressed, that was very good. I tried my best on pronouncing it. Sorry if I butchered anything at all. Like I said, don't know what half that is, but I'm willing to try it all. This place is so bomb, oh my God. Where have you been my whole life? First time we try Iraqi food and it's delicious. Don't order kebab and rice or shawarma, people. Order their authentic plates like masa guf, pacha, kibe stew plates, etc. Try Iraqi food, people. It's amazing. I mean, right off that, like, wow. I, I, I was gonna go in there and get the beef shawarma, but I guess we're switching it up. I'm just surprised that you know how to pronounce all this because I'm not even gonna know what to order. I, I mean, look, what... I don't even know if we're pronouncing it right. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can it here. It sounds really good. <laughs> Either way, I am down to get in there and try some of this Iraqi food. It's gonna be a first for us, but hey, if we fall in love, we might find our new spot. Yeah. So let's get on over there, come let's on. What are we thinking, guys? We need to try things that we're not used to eating. We can't have beef kebabs, we can't have chicken kebabs, nothing like that. We gotta really eat stuff that we're not familiar with at all. So, maybe we should ask for recommendations. That might be our best bet. We've never had Iraqi food. This is our first time and we're super excited. So we, we checked the Yelp and we, we don't wanna have like chicken kebabs or anything like that. Like we want like super authentic stuff. So what could you suggest for us? So, okay. Rice. Okay, let's get that. I like lamb. For here or to go? For here. So we'll get one of those. Um, the grilled pita with the with the ground beef inside. Yeah, can we get that? Let's get the lule. Lule wrap? Yeah, what is lule? It's a ground beef wrap. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's get that. I think that's good. I think we got a lot of stuff. All right, we got a lot of food for 70 bucks. No idea what to expect here when it comes to eating Iraqi food because none of us have ever had Iraqi food so I feel like when we have to base this off of whether it's good or not it's just kind of if it tastes good because yeah. we can't compare it to anything so right. we don't really know right so it's gonna be like will we eat this again or that's literally <laughs> that's literally how our, our basis is gonna come when we're yeah. judging this place so keep that in mind and by the way guys if you've ever been curious on what a Brennan Taylor t-shirt looks like on a beautiful woman this is how it looks Thank look at you. she's repping the happy in the hills merch this is available at brennantaylor.com for a limited time only once they're sold out they're completely gone I'm repping the Harley Davidson looking one still have not got a yeah. cease and desist letter which is good so if you <laughs> want one pick it up at brennantaylor.com And this is Jake's bathroom review with the mustache. All right, first off, I saw, I just saw something. I didn't like it. They have a bidet at a public restaurant bathroom. I don't know if that's like a normal thing, but I would, I don't even use a bidet at my own house. Why would I use someone else's random bidet that they all use? It's kind of gross, but could be convenient. I don't know, let me know in the comments below, but bathroom's cool, it's nice. It's pretty much this is how it is. Is the bidet. Uh, very interesting. 
Alright, let's go back to the food. If we go to the Syrian restaurant, it's the same food but different flavor. You so know? What makes it what makes like Iraqi food different than like Syrian food or regular Mediterranean food? So our Syrian food is like we put more spicy. It's a little bit more spicy. Okay. The Iraqi they put more lemon in it. Oh, it's gonna be like, you know, you have this different taste. Got it. We, we love lemon in this family, yeah. so we're excited about that. So chicken. Oh wow. This is the Iraqi bread. This is what we made it here. You just made this? Yeah. Oh wow. Okay, sweet. Thank you. Every morning, the bread. Every morning? Every morning, yeah. And, and what's different about this than normal pita bread? So this one we made it in the tenwood. Oh, like that. It's yeah, it's it's fresh, you know. This looks really good. So I ordered the hummus with chicken shawarma, and honestly, what I was thinking was just gonna be like little bits messed in there, but you're getting solid pieces of chicken in there because Jake always orders chicken shawarma, and it's like very thin pieces of chicken, you right. know. This is actually like a decent amount, and this bread looks amazing. Oh so let's gosh. jump in. Yes. Look at that, so they cook this, probably, I'm thinking in like one of those like ovens that where it sticks to the wall, you know? We've been in a restaurant like that where they cook this. Let's try it. Some of this food is all about eating with your hands. <laughs> you, gotta just, you gotta just grab it, scoop it, and go for it. Oh my god. Oh my, oh my god. god. This is this, so This good. hits like nothing I've ever had before. And I taste the lemoniness. It's way different than normal Mediterranean food. Wow. That's interesting. He said this one's more lemony. And he was and, and he's hundred percent correct. Like it has yeah. like just hints of lemon. Even this bread, like the outside rim of it is super soft and like fluffy, but then in the more middle it's more of like a chip. Yeah. It's like a two for one, like pick how you want to eat I it. I like the edges. I love the edges, how it's so <laughs> soft. And, and I you like know what it. I can taste like the, the doughy and like the flour oh, of like fresh being like they, fresh. Like yeah, it's very fresh. You know the like the in Mediterranean food, the tzatziki sauce, how that more oh, that's yeah. more of like a citrusy sauce. That's what I'm kind of getting from this. So the first thing we're looking at is the tochka right here. I'm gonna be honest, it looks like like a, like a quesadilla filled with ground beef, except there's no cheese. And now that I think about it, he said that Syrian restaurants have cheese. Technically, isn't that just a quesadilla like with a beef in it? Yeah, it's like a quesadilla, definitely. That's essentially what this is, except this is probably with that bread over there. So it's probably gonna smack so hard. I wish we would have saved some of the hummus to put on top. But we ate it all. Ready? Oh man, that's really good. Go for it, Jerry. He did the tomato in there. Mmm. How the tomato was good, hey. Was it? This is interesting. Uh, very interesting. I got a little bit of a floral perfumey type of. Did you get that? Yeah, and it definitely has that citrus undertone that he was explaining earlier about how these restaurants, or Iraqi restaurants, are more lemony. And then they did pair it with all lemon, so it, it is amazing. Would you rather eat this, or would you rather eat like a quesadilla with ground beef? <sighs> I think coming from me being Mexican, I'd rather have like a traditional quesadilla mm. with like hot sauce and stuff. Mm -hmm. But this is really good. I've never had ground beef with like lemon, right. so it's definitely like a different taste. But it's it's actually it's good. It's good. But definitely. I think I'd also go for the quesadilla. Yeah, I, th I, I think the flavors were just like not used to the flavors. Yeah, like the food, the quality, and the freshness and everything is there uh -huh. and, and, and the flavors pop they are like explosive like they said because like that was like very um, something different you know? yeah it's just almost like we have never tasted before exactly so we're like what is this combination of food it's interesting it's very yeah. interesting this is the best Iraqi dish that looks amazing oh my gosh so he was oh, saying before right. our memory card filled up that this is the most traditional Iraqi meal that you can get this is called the koozie with lamb for shake Let's try this. I don't know. Are you supposed to just pick it up and take a bite of it? Like, how am I supposed to eat this? That's my question. Oh, wow. Look at that, guys. Now, that's a leg. <laughs> that is a four shank. What is the four shank? Does anyone know? It looks like a leg. Four shank could be your forearm, maybe? I don't know. I think this, like, I don't know. It what looks like your. This almost looks like your Achilles tendons, right? Tendons, right there. Look at it. That's like a face, guys. Is that not like a little pig face? Oh, my. It just fell off the bone. Yeah, this literally reminds me. I mean, I know it's a totally different animal, but this reminds me of the Disneyland Universal. turkey leg. Yeah. I, the, te the, the, the texture of it and how it's so, like, just fall off the bone and very just soft and tender. And it's got an amazing flavor. I'm not a huge lamb guy. You've heard me say this in multiple videos. My mom's not either, so I'm gonna let her take a bite of it. And she literally said I, in the beginning, I'm not eating lamb. I don't like lamb. Just take a little not, bite. I'm not a lamb person at all. It's very tender, but I got the, that smell of the lamb, which I, 
which I'm not really crazy about, but it is very, very, very tender meat. Is it, so you're saying this is something you would need to get? No, I think this is very good for people that love lamb. Mm -hmm. I'm just not a lamb person. I feel it, I understand it. Let's try this rice. This is like rice I've never seen before. Oh, smell it. It has like a cinnamon. Oh, wow. That's cinnamon? interesting. Smell that. Or like nutmeg or something. Oh, wow, yeah. What is I, I can't tell you guys that smell. I wish it's I like could. It's like a cocoa. Yeah. It's one of the herbs. It has amazing mm. rice. I got yeah. lamb stuck in there. Like there's, there's chunks of like cashew or almond in there too, so you get a crunch oh, with yeah, it. I do want to jump into this vegan option over here. He did leave some spoons if we wanted to uh, eat it like that, but that might be for the other soup. So here. It's just a white bean. Traditional bean. Mm, mm. Those are good though. They're really good. That's really good. Those are really good. It, it honestly tastes like like normal beans to me, like yeah. pinto beans, but they're just white. But it's like, but they're like not from a can. You can tell like someone made them, yeah. and they taste really good. Uh, can, how do you make beans though? I think like, like you cook them. You yeah. don't make them. <laughs> so Jake's like, what is he talking about <laughs> right here? Like a can versus like making the bean from a hard bean. <laughs> he, he plucked it out of the floor. Where do beans come from? Does anyone know? I don't know. Someone let us know where beans come I think from. They come from the the ground. Or are they on a tree? Or they come from the Latino's buttholes. Uh, Ay Dios mio. We're eating. So this next one, you can eat it many different ways. And I feel like, honestly, we should try it regular on its own first, and then we'll try it on the rice after. And then we'll even dip in some of this bread, because I mean, there's so many different ways to eat it. Why not try them all? Oh, so there's big old chunks of potato. Show that, dude. Wow. Show it big old potato. Mmm. The carbs. Mmm. That's a good potato. I have like a, I feel like a tomato base, yeah. like a that kind of sauce. I don't think I'm a huge fan of this one. I'm gonna be honest. It's different. It's something different. It's something that I feel like you have to grow up with to really enjoy the flavor. You know what I mean? Because if you're someone like us that has never tried this and you just walk up in here and try it, it's definitely uh, an acquired taste, I would say. I really like this. I think it's, it's better. It's definitely better with the rice yeah. than by itself as a soup. Um, it's like I said, an acquired taste though. Out of what we've eaten so far, is it your favorite? I think it is. There's a plate it's... for everyone when you go to Iraqi <laughs> food. I'll tell yeah. you that because I mean, honestly, everything has been really good. I, I'm still in love with that hummus though. Yeah, it was literally like nothing I've ever had before. I love the little lemon in there. Last but not least, the beef shawarma wrap. Let's check it out. What's inside is the lule kebab red onions, tomatoes, and what I'm assuming is parsley. Is it worth me taking a bite? Mm-hmm. This is really good. Is it? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to all right, here. taste it. We'll give our thoughts after we all take a bite of it. Mm. It's mm. like, I feel like it's a really light, like, meal. Well, hold your thoughts. Okay. Let's let Jake take a bite. All right. I had a small bite, so I didn't get a lot of the um, the meat. But what I did get, I feel like this is the, the perfect type of meal. It's light. Mm -hmm. it's, de it's not like really overfilling, overpowering with all the flavors. Yeah. It's definitely different from what everything else we had. Everything else was like but robust. The, the one thing though that it ties it all in is that lemony flavor. I'm getting it on every dish that we did try. It has like that hint of citrusness. Um, and, and it's very inviting. I enjoy a little bit of lemon on all my meals, so. Yeah. I just think for the person that doesn't like tons and tons of flavor, mm -hmm. this is like a good yeah, choice. Yeah, it's definitely more moderate and, and, and less in your face. I also don't know if I've ever been to like a, like had a wrap that had like to make all these different stuff inside yeah. of it. Usually it's like the meat and then like hummus or something in there, you know? Which is different, it's good, it tasted fresh. Like mm -hmm. if that was the only thing I would've ate, I would've felt like really good about myself today, but. <laughs> I'm gonna be really full and might not eat dinner tonight. Yeah, honestly, all of this food was really good. Every single bit of it. Like even the stuff that like wasn't my absolute favorite like this was still really good. So it's like, there's nothing I can say bad about this. Yeah. So I guess now let's finish it up and uh, we'll give you our final thoughts as soon as we get out of here. Okay. So I am definitely stuffed to the brim at this point, but I can honestly say now I am a fan of Iraqi food. Yeah, what about I'm you? I'm so happy that we like tried a new 
food. Exactly. You know? it was so good. And like I've said in the past, I just want to thank you guys because if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be out here trying new foods and expanding my palate. So what I want to tell you guys to do is get out there and try something different, something that you normally wouldn't try because you don't know how much great food you're missing out on yeah. by not trying things. And that's my biggest flaw. I think we all do it. We all are like for normal things. We exactly. Go to the same places, same, you know, eat the same foods. But, but you should definitely change that up. If you enjoyed this video, <laughs> smash that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, pick up some merch, brennantaylor.com, because it ain't going to be here forever. So pick it up, keep streaming the music, and until next time, we'll see you guys later. Peace. My anxiety takes a hold of me.